Table two still waiting for their bill. Table four haven't had any coffees. So, Tom, take a chill pill. Great. Have you been drinking? Yeah. And I feel really chilled. No, no. You, you're drunk. Get in the kitchen. No, I wouldn't get in the kitchen. You do less harm in there than you will out here. Now, get in there and wait for me. I could cause harm. There's like knives and fire and stuff. Uh, right. Nice. Uh, table for two, was it? Just let's follow me. Where'd you get that? I snuck it in when you weren't looking. I could sack you for this. Fine, do it. Oh, you want to be sacked? I don't care. Kate, I, I thought you and Rana were talking about having a baby. I'm not sure getting wasted and losing your job's gonna help. <laughs> It's weird choosing a complete stranger to be the father of your child. And I was happy to put it on hold. Doesn't mean we can't talk about it. Kate, she was treating Kirk's rash. I love Rana so much. All I want is for us to have a family. Well, sounds to me like it's just a question of timing. After what happened with Aiden, who knows how much time we've got. Susie. She is amazing. And I will be in her life. But it's not the same as having your own. Yeah. Well, I feel the same way about Ryan and Ellie. Have you ever wanted kids your own? Well, for a while, I... Too late for you and Michelle. It's, uh. That's not what Michelle wants. For years with Tracy and Joni, and I just thought there was plenty of time, you know, no rush. But. Clock's running down. Sorry, we were talking about you and Rana. Maybe it's not too late. Oh, no, I'm OK. Now, you need to get your head in the right How place. How about you father I'll... a baby for me and Rana? That helps solve both our problems. By, I mean, test tube or whatever. You're not a stranger, and you're a great bloke. I think you'd make a brilliant daddy. Mm -hmm.